Tis the season to indulge in all the different holiday treats, and today we're talking about one of my favorites, eggnog. Here to show us some unique ways you can bake with it is food expert Julie Miguel. Welcome to your morning. Thank you for having me. So I used to think I was fancy because, like, for brunch, I make eggnog lattes for people, and sometimes I mix a little bit of Baileys in there, but you're taking this to the next level. Yeah, so I've actually developed a, an eggnog frozen custard, and I'm going to show you a few ways you can use it, but first, we're going to make the custard. Okay. Yes. So... I have in there two cups of eggnog okay. in your in your saucepan. Yeah. And then I'm going to add a... The real vanilla bean. The real vanilla bean. And I enjoy using real van vanilla beans, although I just heard there's a shortage. Okay. <laughs> but real vanilla bean, put Take it all what in. You can get. Oh, in the skins too? Yes. Okay. Because you're going to be straining it out later. Got it. You're going to put three-quarter cup of sugar. Okay. And am I whisking? Yes. Am I stirring? Whisking. Okay. Stir it up. And we're going to bring this to almost boiling. Just like make it get really, really hot. Okay. And then we're gonna create our custard. And the way the custard comes together, I'm just gonna put a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. What does the salt do? Flavor. Okay. Yeah, balance the flavor. So I have like vanilla bean all over my hand. So these are the eggs and I've already pre-whisked them. Okay. So we're gonna bring that up to temperature. It looks like it's getting hot already, which is great. And okay. you, you essentially want the uh, sugar to be dissolved. Okay, so that's, that's all what we're, we're looking for. Yes. Okay. And a hot milk. And then... Is that egg white, like whole eggs or just yolks? Yeah, so these are six egg yolks. Okay. No egg whites. No whites, all right. And we're gonna ladle. Have you ever heard the term temper? Yes. Okay, so we're tempering the eggs because we don't want to create scrambled eggs. Right, we don't mm -hmm. want to cook them. Right, so if you want to whisk that. Okay. And then we're going to put that into the hot milk. Ah, I see, okay, so it's so not you, shocking them. Right, and you're not cooking them. Right. We don't want a curdled mixture. Scrambled eggnog pie. Right. No, not delicious. And then I'll show you when you know this is ready. Hopefully it comes up to temperature in the time that we have. Okay, so, so I need to turn it up at all? You could, okay. just for time purposes, okay. but we don't want to bring it to a boil. Right. Boiling is not a good thing because you'll curdle your batter. Sure. So you stir it with a, with a spoon and you know it's ready because when you do one of these, you'll get like a, a, a like finger a mark through it. Oh, okay. So that's how you know it's ready. I, I'm, I don't think it'll come up to temperature because we have a lot here. Okay. So that's how you know it's ready. And you want to try it one more time just so we can show people at home. So you take the back of the spoon. Yep. So you, you kind of coat the back of the spoon. Yep. And then you do one of these. And if your finger mark is, rel like, it, it, it's predominant, yep. and you have, like, a nice coating of uh, the mixture. Like a nice skim? Yes. Then it's done. Yes. You don't want it too thick. No, and you don't want it to boil. So okay. it's, it's almost like that just right temperature, and then you shut off the burner. Okay. That I can do. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to put it in yes. an ice bath? I, yes, we want to stop the cooking process. So that's what we're doing here. You have to stop the cooking process because, again, you don't want to cook your eggs. Right. It smells so good. And so there we go. So you want to cool great this to... Bean. You want to cool this to room temp okay. before you put it into your... So this is what it's going to look like. Okay, this is gross, but I'm going to put a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try I just it. Want to see what it's it like. delicious. So this is what it looks like when it's um, cooled to room temp. Okay. And then you want to pour it into... This is a simple graham cracker shell. So just graham oh, crackers, really nice. sugar, oh, butter. Oh, and it's so festive. Mm -hmm. Yes. And impressive that you made it yourself. Yeah. Thank you. And how do you serve it? You chill um, it? Yes. So put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Freezer, and, not fridge. Yes, freezer. Because okay. if we put it in the fridge, it's going to be really goopy. Okay. And this is the final. The fresh cream. Yeah. So Beautiful. That, this is just plain whipped cream. And so this pie has been frozen for at least five hours. Okay. Because you want it to be nice and solid. And when you bring it out, how, how long before you serve it? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. So take it out. 10 to 15, depending on how cold your house is. Okay. And then you want to... What's that you're scraping over? So this is nutmeg. Oh, amazing. Fresh nutmeg, nutmeg. nutmeg and eggnog are the best thing. Nothing says holidays. Mm. And it really flavors together. Exactly. And it brings out the flavor of the eggnog, which is fantastic. It looks so beautiful. You have another dessert that we yes. can use this frozen custard for. So this frozen custard is so versatile. You can actually use it for profiteroles. And I love these. Because I would just eat this <laughs> and it's just so like this. I love these because you can create them ahead of time, keep okay. them in your freezer whole. In a, in a Ziploc bag, okay. after you've baked them. Take them out about 10 minutes before guests arrive. Or you could just do this in the kitchen. Yeah, or just like eat them like that, whatever. And you scoop in the custard like okay, I'm so. Okay, I'm two. Scoop in the custard. All right. Close it up. And icing sugar, dust on top, just like that. Okay. And beautiful little desserts, and you can have them made ahead of time. I gotta try some. I also yes. feel like this would be good like in a milkshake or something. Oh my God, for sure. I'm gonna try some too. Oh, good. Good? Sorry, my mouth's full. <laughs> so you can also use this in waffles, mm. this frozen custard. And I've also made it into palettas and served it in, like, a bourbon. As, like, oh. a really fun, festive cocktail. Amazing. Standing up in, so like, a drink. Good. Yeah. Very versatile recipe. So many things you can do with it. You've taken my favorite drink of the holidays I'm to so the glad. next level. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. If you're interested, you can find these recipes on yourmorning.ca. Thank you.